Hi guys, it's Sophie and welcome back to my channel. So as I told you guys in my last video, uh, today we're going to continue the Harry Potter series. Um, as you can see by my clothing and the title of the video, uh, today we're going for Slytherin. I actually think everyone has a little bit of Slytherin in them. Um, everyone has that dark side as you would um, call it. And I picked Slytherin to be my second house because I think everyone has a little bit of Slytherin in them. And also I don't believe you're necessarily bad if you're put into Slytherin uh, or it's the bad house of the four. And I think being ambitious isn't a bad thing. It's just what you do with it that's gonna determine if you're a bad guy or not. So that being said, let's get started. I already did my base and my brows off camera, so we can start with the eyes. First of all, I'm taking my extreme eyeshadow base and priming my eyelids. And for this look, I'm using the Forever Flawless Enchanted palette. Looks like this. And then, of course, my EYN Bright Matte palette. Like this. I mean, look at this beauty. Every time I do a colorful look, I use this palette, it's just a holy grail. So I'm going to start off taking Vine from the Enchanted palette um, on a Morphe M433 brush. And patting that on my outer corner and going up and out. And taking a M441 brush to blend it out. Just softly grazing alongside of the edges. Moving in again and this time my crease. And I'm going to take a smaller brush to be more precise with my blending and I'm taking a M506 brush. Taking some more of Vine and really getting into my crease. And again taking that M506 brush to blend it out. And now I'm taking a M124 brush and taking the black shade Sable. Just dabbing that in my outer corner and on the lowest part of my crease. And then again taking that M506 brush and softly blending it out. And then I'm taking my M441 brush and taking fur and just softly going over the colors I placed before. And now I'm going to cut my crease. And I'm taking a small brush and taking my concealer and creating a line. So you get the effect of a full cut crease while doing a half. And then I'm taking a M166 brush and taking the shade White Lies, going over my concealer. And then taking that same M166 brush and going over my lid with Frost. And I'm taking a small flat brush by Creolan uh, and going in with Frost to set that over the smaller line. And then taking that 506 brush and taking some of the vine and fern and blending in my outer corner. And then I'm taking my M124 brush and taking sable again and really darkening up my outer corner. Softly 
heading in. And then it's time for eyeliner. For eyeliner, I'm using the LA Colors Matte Liquid Liner. For mascara, I'm using the Pump and Volume HD Mascara by uh, Christian Dior. I have the mini version and I'm desperately looking for a bigger version because I fell in love with this one uh, and I'm going to combine it with the Verdict Volume Mascara by Yves Rocher. And then for lashes I'm using the Apple Sour Lashes by Unicorn Cosmetics. And then for my under eye I'm going in with Vine and Oasis and connecting it to the top. And again, taking that little flat brush and frost and going under my eye and connect it to my inner corner. And taking a black coal pencil, I don't know where I got it from, and going in my waterline. And now I'm going to do my other eye off camera and I'll be back for the lips. And for the lips I thought I would go for a black lip, but since I don't have any black lipstick, uh, I'm just taking some setting spray and mixing it with the sable color and using that to line my lips. I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to go over that with some more powder. Just going to take the brush I used for my eyes and dabbing that on my lips. And if this doesn't work, I'm just going to go over with eyeliner and kill my lips when I have to remove my makeup. The only problem I'm seeing is that the black is going into the little lines of my skin so that's the only thing i don't like but overall i'm quite happy with how it turned out and then i'm just going to take fern on my m506 brush and dusting it in the middle of my lips camera doesn't really pick it up as much as it is in real life but it's so cool so this is it this is the final look I hope you guys liked it at least I really did make in this video, I felt my inner slithering coming out and I hope you guys liked this video as much as I did. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a snake emoji in the comments if you've gotten to this part of the video. And I hope to see you guys with the next one. Bye!